Today we're going to talk about the think and play box, a very key aspect of golf in order to get into the zone for your shot, to commit to your shot and hit a good shot. A lot of people have no idea what's happening around their shot and they can't understand why they go from hitting decent shots to hitting bad shots to going on a run of bad shots and finally coming back to some good shots saying they need consistency in their game. A good system to use is the think and play box made popular by Lynn Marriott and Pia Nilsson in their book Every Shot Must Have a Purpose. What we have in that system is two imaginary boxes. This one will be the play box. That's where you're going to play your shot separated with a decision line from the think box. So you're going to stand behind the decision line to work out what you're going to do with your shot and that's where we get into things like the weld, wind elevation, light distance, your aiming point, the shot shape you're going to hit. All these things are going through your mind before the shot when you're in the thinking box. Every bit of thinking, strategizing, commitment finding, idea generating, risk aversion, whatever you're doing happens behind the decision line in the thinking box. From this box, you get committed. You do all of it there. Once you're ready, you cross the decision line, imaginary line, into the play box. Now, when you're in the play box, there's no time for thinking. All thinking is done here. The only two things you need to have in your mind are either, pick one, your target or the word execute. You don't want any doubt. As soon as you have a doubt, or oh, maybe not the right place, I don't think I'm aligned correctly, wrong club, or oh, the wind changed, anything at all you have to go back behind the decision line and redo your entire process get another club change your target something like that now the reason this works is because it takes your brain away from thinking about all the crap that happened before all the crap that can happen and all you're doing here is clearing your mind to hit a good shot here if you clear your mind of all the rubbish and all you're focusing on is your target and the execution of the shot you have no time to think about other junk you're in the shot. That's what they talk about being in the shot, being in the moment. When you're not in the moment, you're not in the shot, you hit suboptimal shots. You need 110% commitment before getting into the play box. This is how I do it. I've decided on this hole it's a par 5. I'm going to reach the water there at 250, so I'm going to take a 4 iron. I like the look of that big tree up there. I'm envisioning the shot in my mind. I'm going to hit it at the top of that big tree. Try to hit the top leaf of that tree. I'm hoping for a little draw but I've left enough space on the right that if it fades on the first tee shot of the day, I'm money. I'm gonna pick my target in front of the ball, maybe take a couple of practice swings here, look at the target and swing to the target. So we've got ourselves in the left rough here, which is fine. It's kind of just off target with a bit of draw from that tree. We're in play, we're happy first hole of the day. Now we have a little dog leg, it's split by water here, and the pin is behind the big tree over there. So we can't go for anything, we have to hit a layup. That's really what I'm thinking in the think box. Now the think box can start before the ball, okay? If you're walking up from behind, you can start looking at the shot from 20, 30 yards away, starting to understand the angle, where you wanna hit the ball, what you wanna have into the green. We have about 295 yards to the middle of the green here. Little dog leg, we're probably playing it at about 315. In this box here, I've decided I'm going to take a 7 iron, try to lay it up to about, if I can, 120, 130 yards. From there, I'm going to have a shot into the green pretty clear. So from here, I'm thinking, ball's below my feet. I know for me, it doesn't slice that much on that lie. So I'm going to go pretty straight. I think my, my swing cancels it out. I'm going to pick something in the distance there. Fine, now we're going to pick a target. Yep, little little batch of three trees there and then just hit the shot nothing else in the mind and that's perfect we've got our little wedge in there now so I've left myself this is part of the thinking box we're gonna get ourselves a nice distance here we've got 91 yards 91. We already figured we're going to hit a 60 degree. We already know because the distance is like perfect for our number. 
So if that distance is perfect for a number, it's a very quick decision. Don't have to think too much, you know. If you've got a good shot in your head already, just go with it. So I have not too much thought here. I'm just going to clip the daisies a couple times just to make sure I do what I was working on. And then from here, dead at the pin, let's try to get it close. But once I get past that decision line, no doubt. See, now I've lost my, my aim spot. I lost my aim spot in front of the, the ball, so I have to go back and do it again. Not my best, not my best 60 degree, but I went through a good process. If you have a bad result, but you went through a good process like this, hey, what can you do? You can't really control much beyond what you can control. And this right here is the most controllable thing you can do through the whole round. So if you're having a struggle, go back to this, control what you can, allow things to happen, and then reset the next one. So around the greens is super important, big boys. It's super important. Like this is where you're gonna lower your score the most. So we also have to remember there's a think and play box here, but I thought about this overnight in my sleep, in the shower, while having a shizer. If I want to have a think and play box here, the only real thinking I can do can, can't really happen here because we have stuff in front of us and we can check it out. We can use the whole area as our thinking box. We can read the green, how the ball is going to break. We can look at the, 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 the way we're going to chip it. We're going to land it on the fringe or on the green or fly it all the way. And you're not really going to spend much time behind the ball like for longer shots. You're going to be more here. But when you get here, you want to really find a spot you can commit to and pick a nice club for it. And then once you're committed in this little thinking area here, there's a little decision line here where you have to walk across and be really committed to that chip. So when you land it on that spot, it gets to the cup. I'm a lucky boy. I'm a lucky phalang.